Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I would like to share a small experience which I had while learning German language. So it's been four years in Germany. So I, before learning German language, I was speaking three other languages, English, Hindi and Nepali. So when I started learning German language, after a year or so, I started feeling that my whole grip on the, German, on the English language was all messed up. I mean, it took me a lot of efforts even to probably speak a paragraph or probably for five to six minutes in English without using any German words or probably with the fluency with which I was speaking before learning the German language. And this kind of scenario has not only happened with me, but with many other students who've learned German language. And uh, of course, I would like to mention a few of the incidences which happens while you are jo learning German language. I'm sure everyone goes through some or the other funny incidences which happens while learning the language. Like as we have in English, uh, the same word is, has two different meanings. It's the same also in German language. So I would like to narrate two funny incidents which I had while learning the language. The first was I met a friend, I made a friend in the first few months of coming to Germany and I planned to give him a gift. So I bought a gift, went to him and gave him the gift. He didn't, uh, he didn't speak much of English. So we always, uh, we always spoke in German language. So when I gave him the gift, he asked me, Was habe ich getan, um das zu verdienen? All I knew about the word verdienen was that it means something related to what salary you earn because that's a meaning which I had learned. Ferdinand means what do you earn? So I couldn't really understand what he meant. I was so all perplexed. I wondered and what and I completely I was completely confused of what exactly he meant by that. And in my mind I thought he didn't like the gift and he wanted to know what was my salary to it. Quite funny. Any which ways as when he noticed that I was completely confused, he said, why is dein Freund bin? It means because I'm your friend. And when I came back, I just realized that he wanted to say, what have I done to deserve this? And the reply to that was because I'm your friend. So this was a very funny incidence, incident which I had because of the word Ferdinand. Uh, the other incidence which I had was for the word Verlassen. So when we use the word verlassen with the preposition auf, it means to rely upon, to rely on someone or to rely upon something. But when you use verlassen without a preposition, it means to leave. So I was with a friend, we were there in a restaurant and she said that she was planning to leave her husband and she used the word verlassen. All I did and I didn't notice if she had used the prepositions or preposition or not. So I thought she wanted to say that she relies upon her husband and I said a good and then she said no you didn't understand she repeated the sentence again she used the sentence is where they mine and man for lesson and she wanted to say I will leave my husband but I had a very different uh, idea of the word for lesson it's only you know later on with uh, with the whole experience of interacting with people and then you start understanding okay how is one particular word used in completely two different contexts and uh, how you can misinterpret things. So definitely this was very uh, two very funny incidences which I had. And also I would like to say that, uh, you know, there are some letters. For example, J is pronounced as Y in Deutsch. So for example, if you have names like Jen, maybe you pronounce J, E and Jen in English, but in Deutsch it is Yen. For example, it's Yulia, it's Yohaim, because you pronounce J as Y. So again, you know, this completely messes up with your mind at times. Like if you are too used in German language, you start making mistakes with the English language and it always time and again, it really confuses you. V, the letter V is uh, pronounced as F, F, okay. So you wonder, should you call this vacuum or vacuum? You wonder if it is to be called Vikings or Vikings. Or you wonder, you call it vampire or vampire. It, it's, it's funny. It's really funny. And there are a lot of rules in German language. So yeah, so this, these are all of the things, you know, which you really have to uh, fight hard to understand the differences and not make mistakes while you're speaking English or while you're speaking German language. 
and I think in Germany you kind of see a lot of many people, a lot of people like probably people from Indian origin or from any other country's origin that when they make a sentence, probably in that sentence they will definitely use a word in German language. Like for example, I have often seen that if someone from India has to say here, yeah, okay, this is not allowed in Germany, they might say as that this is verboten in Germany. So verboten means prohibited, but because you know, like you are being trained into two different languages, somehow the sentences come so. So like these are the experience which I had and which I have absorbed staying in Germany. I wanted to share it with all of you so that uh, you guys don't get really upset that you missed on your English language proficiency in the way of learning German language. It is it happens to mostly all of us and I think at one point of time you start feeling comfortable with both the language. And this is all from my end. See you next week. Bye. Take care.